what's up guys welcome back to the channel i hope everyone had a good christmas and new year's no, i'm sorry it's been a minute man i don't know every time around the holidays it seems to get me for some reason i'm just like oh i'll take a week off and then like three weeks later i'm like whoa what happened there goes a month uh, but yeah, I've been busy, man. Been working, slowly getting back into the groove of things. Is kind of, I don't know, man. Maybe when you get older, it's 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 a little harder to get back to your routine after the holidays. It seems like for me, at least. Don't know if that's a thing. Don't know if people do that. But here we are on the Dyna, taking a short little ride because it's like 39 degrees out right now. I got a little sun. I got off work a little early uh, so we could get it get on this bike and do a little moto vlog this is gonna be moto vlog number 27 which seems like i've done more videos i think i've had like 82 videos in the last year but um you know not every one of them did moto vlogs but this is gonna be a uh, old school moto vlog oh man i may let this traffic go and we'll catch back up hang on one second guys so yeah guys we are back on the dyna doing our moto vlog number 27 here and kind of this this subject i kind of wanted to bring up because i don't think i really i don't think i really explained it when i started doing the wheelie videos i just kind of jumped into doing those and yeah i kind of you know i don't know maybe maybe some of you guys didn't get it or what but um yeah i originally built this dyna to specifically learn the dyna wheelies um and what got me into wheelies really honestly was uh you know seeing the guys from unknown and seeing the guys you know on youtube like theo door theo freaking door i think his thing is and uh you know the guys like uh john's motor garage them dudes doing it and man it looked fun it looked crazy it looked wild so i wanted to learn how to do them yeah i had no zero absolutely zero experience doing wheelies on anything um i kind of did some research for a year year and a half two years while i was kind of setting this up on how i thought i needed to set it up to do them and uh <laughs> you know things change but but yeah this this particular setup here um from what i've found the easiest way with a stock motor now i do have the chain kit and that changes up the ratio a little bit so it gives a little bit of an advantage um, as far as that goes but for me uh what i've found was like a secret weapon it was kind of three things okay the first thing was the elite moto tech clutch lever perch um they do sell just the perch by itself that you can buy there's like four different links in the lever itself and yeah it's the only reason you know people think okay it's it's just because you can get your two fingers up there yada 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 but no it's actually the improved geometry it's it's 30 percent less effort to to pull this thing in so it's buttery smooth it's super easy to to move um, and when you're out there practicing, when you're doing, you know, a hundred attempts an hour, um, it, it, it definitely takes your toll on your hand with the stock one. And I don't think the cable releases as fast with the stock one. I think this Elite Autotech actually releases really quick uh, just because of the geometry change and in, in, in where the cable works and everything else. But number two is going to be the Shinko 777. That thing, seriously will dead nuts hook every single time no questions asked that's kind of a weird spot leave your car <laughs> all righty but yeah that that tire is a game changer man you you set it on about 30 psi and i don't care how much throttle you give this thing it in my particular scenario it would dead hook every single time and, and come off and then you know me is is a limiting factor on on keeping it up 
with uh, getting it into balance point and all that good stuff. So um, the third thing that was like, I don't, it just clicked one day. I don't know. I, I, I tried it, but uh, I think I saw a video of somebody doing it and was like, wow, that's okay. Let me try that. But seriously, re-gripping your throttle. Okay. Gripping the throttle here before you attempt and re-gripping it actually lets you give it a little bit more throttle and honestly with this stock motor <laughs> um, obviously got a tuner and some exhaust and stuff like that but internally so um, it, it it needs a lot to get the front wheel up and and to keep it up and to get it in a balance point so so yeah re-gripping the throttle like this helped me out a ton um it just made it more consistent so but yeah those are my three things that are game changers uh, when it comes to this Harley wheelie stuff and we're planning on getting out there this weekend it's it's been a hit or miss with the weather and stuff and honestly it's like 40 degrees is kind of like rough uh, as far as being out there but but yeah guys hopefully you're enjoying the videos uh, hopefully you're enjoying the progress and I'll continue to do them. Sorry about the delay around the holidays. It always hits me that way. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your support. Like, comment, and subscribe. I noticed something the other day that 91% of my videos, the views on them are from non-subscribers. So I don't know how I can change that, but I'll give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. We'll see you on the next one.